Hello, my name is Runa from Casper Electronics and I'm here to review this microscope from Yizan. This is the 38MP micro microscope. I'm gonna show you the overall product and how to use this one for your technical repairs. I'm gonna show you the step-by-step -step on how to uh, configure, how to connect, and then how to set up this microscope. Let's go! Okay, so I'm gonna teach you how to assemble the microscope. So this is the base. This is the base, so it has two. And uh, this base, this stand, this is what, this is, I think this is the medium bracket, the medium base. So it has two plates at the base, so you just connect it with the screw. So I'm gonna, I'm not gonna do it here. And then this is its hole. Okay, so you just put it here. And then you, put the hand bracket the holder for the microscope okay like this so this is I think 50 mm the diameter of this is 50 mm <coughs> next we have the lens so this is the 180x lens so as you can see it has a 0.5x here and then it has labels so I'm gonna explain later why I prefer this lens over the 130x lens. So here is the front. So here is the here is the microscope. This is the Lizan. I recommend this one over any any variations. Oh, so this is the IR. So this is the uh, this is for the remote that comes with when you first purchase this. This is for the remote. These are the buttons for the settings when you. Uh, enable the settings mode. The side there is the FD, each SD card. The back here is the DC 5 to 12 volts, the HDMI, and then the USB cord. So this cord. So that one here. When you first purchase this one, it will it will come with a charger. So this one. Here. The camera is not focused here. So you get the idea, and then when you first when you set up this, you just remove this. You just remove this here. The lens. You move this one. The quality for this micro microscope is very good. It's metal here, metal, and then here it's metal. It's not plastic. It's metal. It's metal. So just twist it. Okay, so when you position this, you should position your microphone. The logo should be in the front. Okay, this one. So this is the view. So this thread, this uh, circular thread here, this will protect the microscope from here. Let me show you. This will protect the microscope from skidding or dropping. Okay. So, so you must ensure that the bracket is has good size here, and then. It, you can wiggle it so you, you must lock it. Lock it. Okay. Okay. So the mic microscope is in position. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna connect it to the monitor using the HDMI cable. So here is the HDMI. So here is the HDMI. Then I'm gonna connect this here. So you can see no light. Why? Because there is no power in it. So you need to put this here. You need to here. You need to insert it right here. Okay, so now our microscope is alive. So it has a orange light. So that means our microscope is functioning now. However, why why is that, that the monitor is not seeing any image? It's because there's no light. But when you actually it has already an image. See? So wait. Actually, it has already an image, but it's very dark. That's why you need a LED light. It will make the image brighter. Okay, let me show you how to how it's done. Okay, so the, the microscope, the lens itself has three has three holes with the, here. One is here, one is here, and one is here. So, turn here. I hope. I
So I like this LED light because it has a separate controller. So some of the LED lights have the controller here. So it um, it blocks the PCB from my view. I like it here because I like this because it has a separate so I can put it farther. So I'm gonna turn it on now. Turn on as you can see the image on the monitor already has an image. And then I can put it brighter. Okay, so let's focus on the monitor now. <clears throat> I don't know if your the view is very so when you focus the camera you just turn it here turn it here so the camera is now focused on my lighting In the example I'm gonna focus here this For example I'm gonna focus this capacitor right here so it's in my camera it's very bright but in my view it's clear okay like this so you can see the detail of that this camera very nice so here so I can increase the bright brightness okay it's so bright so when I want to focus this capacitor right here I just move this knob and then as you can see it will get blurry why because the, the lens will focus according to its distance so you need to turn the lens again like this as you can see when you turn the lens it will get focused to your liking okay so that's one so I will try to focus this this one alone okay so how far can I get to focus this one okay so you can see this one can you see that in my view the image is very sharp in my camera's view I don't know if what's so as you can see I can see that the capacitor is okay yes wow this camera is super fantastic this camera so let's let me use my remote here so first I want to is the here is the menu okay here is the menu so here is the remote so what's the purpose of this remote so this camera this microscope has a setting so you can adjust the resolution the brightness etc the exposure so you just point it to the IR sensor and then as you can see you have the settings here so just use the remote just use it and then I'm gonna focus it on it I'm gonna focus it here. I'm gonna point it here. I mean, okay, see. So what's my setting? So I leave my settings at default because it's already too good. I don't need to set it. I just set. Um, I think you need to set the record size to here because it has settings like 4 4K, 1080, 720. So I choose 1080. 1080 is the best. 4K, I I don't recommend it because it's only 30 frames and it will get sloppy. The video will get sloppy. 1080 60 frames is the best. Okay, just press menu. Okay, next is resolution. I think this is i48. Let me try it. Okay, wait, it's that mirror image system. You I first bought this, you need to change this to English so you understand the settings. Okay, I'm done. Press menu and I'm done so what if I'm using a laptop and I don't have a monitor like mine I don't have a monitor so I have a laptop how can I use this microscope to be able to see it on my laptop so I will show you this part I will get my laptop first wait a minute okay so now I have my laptop here so I'm using the Mac OS so it, it can also be used on Windows computer or laptop so in this part I'm gonna in my case I'm gonna use a laptop Mac OS laptop so here I just I disconnect the machine. here I disconnect the HDMI cable so I'm gonna disconnect also the power so no connections here now what you will do is use the printer cable here 
So here. Wait. Oh. That is not focusing. Okay. You get the idea. I'm gonna connect this. I'm gonna connect it here, and then this part. I'm gonna connect this to my laptop. What I've noticed is the cable that comes when you first bought it. I think it's not very good. And it, mine, mine is also already damaged. So please bear with me if the uh, video is not functioning well. Because okay, now I connected it. Now let me show you. Here, here, in locked in Mac OS, you can use OBS. So first, I'm try trying to OBS Studio. OBS. Web. As you can see, there is the display. So just adjust it. So do I need still the power adapter? No. Because the microscope will get power from your laptop through this USB cable. So you don't need to put connect a power adapter. So here there is already a view. So just move the just move the wait a minute. Just move the PCB. So what I've noticed from my laptop is there is a big delay when using the OBS. So I will show you a alternative later. So as you can see, oh, I will move the PCB and look at the laptop. There, there's a big delay when using OBS. So I'm searching. I'm searching for another alternative because I'm not. This is so useless when you when you're soldering. So if you're in Mac, just search QuickTime, QuickTime Player, down QuickTime, then Files, New Movie Recording. As you can see, there, there is, there is, there is me. So just. Just use H100 cam. There you go. Now, the view is real time. So, so I'm not using any power connectors. I'm just using the HD cable. So now, if I move, if I move the PCB, so if I solder it, okay, let me show you. If I have a soldering iron, and then wait, where is that? So I'm gonna change the view. Okay. Then you. Okay. So let's say. I'm gonna change the brightness so you will able to see it. What? Let's say I'm gonna solder this one. There's the connector. I'm gonna solder this SMB component here. Where's that? Where's that one? Am I speculating? I think this is it. Where's that one? It's, it's difficult for my position right here. I'm holding the camera. Okay, let me try. Let me. Here. Here is my finger. Okay, here. So I'm gonna focus this one, this capacitor. I'm gonna adjust the brightness. Okay, thank you. Okay, I'm gonna adjust the brightness. In my view, it's very clear. Okay. So let's say I'm gonna solder this capacitor. So it's very simple for me because the view is real time. See? So I'm gonna solder this small SMD. This. Here, where's that? Where's that one? It's difficult to. It's difficult to hold a camera while soldering. You get the idea. <laughs> then here is the view. So if I have an IC right here, here is the IC leg. You can see it's very clear. So this is very helpful when I'm repairing something. So I'm just okay. Okay, there you go. As you can see, I can see very well the IC pins here. I can see if it's shorted or not. Wow, this microscope is very amazing. So what's my thought about this camera? Do I recommend it to anybody, especially for the technicians out there, or I'm just pretending that I like it? So my honest thought, I like it very much. It's 100% very helpful when you're soldering something that is very small. And then I'm using this I'm currently working on this board and I have no trouble figuring out the problem because I mean not the problem I'm not I have no problem seeing the small components because of this one and this one is very handy because I can use my laptop in times of I do not bring my monitor on other places so 
I recommend this over the 48MP camera because I had an experience before that my camera, um, when I first when I first bought a microscope, I chose the 48MP camera and then I chose the 130X lens. So I will show you the picture here and then the result image when I test it. So I bought it from Lazada and then I told the seller that hey this this I, this microscope is defective but the seller is very not responsive it took me one week to get a response from from her or him that the item is defective so he will replace it so what happened is um, he told me that the lens is very bad I, the lens is defective so what uh, what he will gonna do is replace the lens so but I message him a lot that I message him message him but it, I don't have a response so what I what I did is return the item, the full item, not just the lens, whole the bracket, the lens plus the microscope itself, and then I uh, issued a refund. So I got refunded, but it took me I think one week to get to be refunded, and I really need the microscope. So um, the funny part is I contact another seller, and then from where I bought this one, I contacted the seller. And then he said, "Oh, I got a huge. He, she is so very responsive. So I told him, I have experience. I have experience before that I bought a microscope, but unfortunately, it is very defective. And then she, oh, don't worry. I were our quality, our product is quality tested before shipping. So okay, when I get my refund, I will buy from you. So please help me. Please, I don't want to be scammed anymore. Now, uh, fast forward." Uh, this is the camera right here and then the, the funny part is I have a 180x lens so it cost me more because 130x lens is just a stock lens for this microscope so it will get you cheaper but the quality I never tried it I recommend this 180x lens because you can use the Barlow lens so Barlow lens you can put it here when you use the 130x lens it will not fit so that is one my one mistake when choosing a microscope. Please don't choose a 130x lens. I please choose 180x lens. That's it. 180x lens is the best. And then the quality build, solid, solid. And then the base is very solid, solid. And then this LED light, I bought it from a different store because the the store that where from where I bought this microscope, it doesn't offer this kind of microscope LED light. So I bought it from another store, so I will link it in the description if you want to buy this Giza microscope. And I highly recommend the seller that I brought this from because she is very responsive. And then he even and she even gave, gave me a discount for this base, metal base. So thank you for uh, watching this video and I hope I will see you on my next review. I will show you my equipment and then um, I hope I've helped you when choosing a microscope. Uh, I think that's it. Thank you and bye-bye.